Hey everyone, um, I thought I'd just get back on here because uh, my because uh, it didn't finish yesterday, so it's because my phone ran out of charge. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just in the, the park as you can see, um, and I thought I'd just let you know what else was going on at the Buddha Centre um, in the in the next week or so. So um, so today uh, on Tuesday. I'm going to be um, doing a, a meditation at the Buddhist Centre. Uh, I'm going to be leading that, and that's from 1 till 1.45. Um, hopefully you might be able to make that, but um, obviously if not, I won't judge you. Um, so that, that's today. Um, that's today, Tuesday. Um, so uh, tonight, um, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, Vidyamala is doing a, um, a lab meditation uh, seven o'clock tonight, and so that's uh, um, that, yeah, that's from, like I say from seven, uh, and that's for for kind of newbies and oldies alike really. So uh, that's just on Zoom. So if you if you search this group, then you'll find a link to that. Um, so that's Vidya Mala, she's the founder of Breathworks and a very experienced meditation teacher. And she's been doing this, uh, this event since the start of the first lockdown. Uh, so it's a, it's a very good, uh, good thing to be uh, involved with really. I've been to, been to a few and they're very good. Uh, you get people from all over the world really. So um, yeah, so I'd, I'd highly recommend that really. Um, so so yeah so uh, I'm actually on retreat from tomorrow. I'm doing um, I'm doing the uh, Taste of Freedom retreat, uh, just the online component of that um, at Padmaloka. So I'll be quiet on it for the next few days. Um, so um, yeah, so th Thursday. Um, I don't think there's anything happening on Wednesday, uh, sort of, well I'm sure there's loads of things happening if you kind of look all over the web and, you know, sort of Buddhist type stuff happening on uh, Wednesday, but, but Thursday at the Manchester Buddhist Centre, um, it tends to be um, study night for, <coughs> for Mitras, um, so there tends to be um, not that much going on at night. Um, but uh, on Wednesday and Thursday during the day, um, one till one forty-five, uh, actually in person at the Manchester Buddhist Centre, uh, there's going to be a, a live led meditation. Um, so, so if you can uh, can get to that in Northern Quarter, uh, that that'd be good. I think the Zoom meditations are starting to tail off now. Um, because obviously the the kind of rules are being relaxed, um, so um, yeah, so so I suppose it's a case of keeping your eye on the the Buddhist Centre website for uh, for other events. I mean, there there was a Sangha event which started up, um, which I'm not sure if that's continuing, and if it is, it'll be on Friday. Um, at seven. Uh, I'm not sure I should have checked really uh, before I started doing this video but it's just a bit of a spur of the moment thing uh, on, my, on my walk, on my daily walk which I do. Um, I'm uh, By the way, uh, for any newbies on this group, I'm Tom and I set up this group at the um, in the middle of March last year, you know, prior to the first lockdown um, and that was uh, that was just so that we could kind of connect as a sangha, as a spiritual community, without having to be there in person. And so there's myself, um, there's Julie Franklin, who's also an administrator of this group, and there's Showbit, um, who's a moderator, and he's he's based out in India actually, who are a matter of recent Pamaloka retreat. Um, as I say, I'm just doing my, my work today. I have MS, and so so I find that uh, doing a, a short walk each day kind of keeps me uh, as healthy as I can be, really. And uh, the lab meditation that I'm going to do today, I can't remember which one it is, but I always 
start it with a quite a lengthy uh, body awareness meditation um, which again helps me uh, help helps you uh, relax anyway um, but it certainly helps me um, prior to doing the actual um, one of the sits that we're doing this movement um, so anyway the, on Saturday morning um, there's a class called tools for living your life and this is this is really good for any newbies which uh, which might be on here um, because it, it takes from a, a guy called Vajra Gupta's book and uh, take takes themes of um, of Buddhism and very kind of very kind of straightforward and um, well uh, kind of closing the, the title really tools for living your life it's a uh, well, it's, it's got a Buddhist context, but it's not um, it's not completely um, inaccessible as far as it you know as far as the complexity of it goes. It's quite a, a pragmatic uh, approach, really. For when they do meditation, they they do um, Buddhism. Um, yeah, so so it's a good introduction, really, and that that goes along with a book that he um, he released called the same thing called Tools for Living Your Life, uh, and so that's um, yeah, it's kind of just 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 taken from that. Um, I've just seen one of those stockport frogs over there. Um, I don't know whether you can see that. Um, yeah, I'm in uh, Davenport and Stockport, just doing my steps, just around the corner from my parents' house. Uh, these frogs are starting to appear all over Stockport, like the bees do in Manchester, which I think is quite quite a nice thing, really. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, digress about that. So, Tools for Living Your Life is uh, at 11am on a Saturday morning through till 1pm, uh, and that's... Um, that's every Saturday morning. There's quite a collection of people that that do that. Uh, quite a sangha, a spiritual community around around that event. Um, so um, yeah, I've heard very good things about that. I've not actually been to the class for kind of some years, really, but um, I hear good things about it at the moment. Um, and then on Sunday, uh, I can't remember what's happening on Sunday. I mean, uh, I don't I don't think much, but. Um, but like I say, I'm going to be uh, doing a retreat from tomorrow, tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening. Uh, no, sorry, this evening, tonight. Um, so I'm not going to be on this this group very much. Uh, come on, let's retreat on the following Sunday. Um, so yeah, so I wish you well this week, and uh, hopefully uh, you have a good one. Uh, see you soon. Bye.